interesting choice from Sketch to go to uh, Battle considering uh, how much extra movement option that gives to, uh, to Pikachu, especially because of the vertical space that it offers. Granted, Samus can do some pretty good link-ups in the platforms if uh, if she manages to get a hit going quickly. But yeah, it's a very interesting choice. Almost twice the percent that uh, that Sketch is at. Sketch is going to be looking for some kind of major move to finish off the stock. And Jopon's got to be careful about make, making those kind of big moves against uh, Samus. She does have a kill throw, um, and he's very much kill throw percent. Oh my goodness, and a wonderful spike coming from... Uh, coming from Joe on there. Very nice. So we have Juice uh, DQing into Luges again, so that's uh, a little interesting. I don't know why the heck that happened, but it's neither here nor there. Alright, so we have a uh, pretty even percent. Honestly, Sketch is playing that standard uh, Samus game plan. And Jopon is just trying to stay on top of her. She's a very floaty character with a lot of aerial speed. And a really good super far out there pair. Uh, Sketch needs to really be thinking about how he recovers against Pikachu because Pikachu does have the ability to pursue characters super far out off stage. Oh my goodness! He's dead! It's over! That was a wonderful spike from Jopon. Honestly, if that had been on any other stage, that would have been 100% that would have killed. But the fact that it was Battlefield meant that Jopon was able to get back with relatively little risk to himself. So that was actually extremely well done by, uh, by Jopon to take game one. Samus has a pretty good recovery, but she does need to uh, DI into the top right corner to ensure that it's going to be effective. Because once she's uh, once she's that close to the bottom blast zone, she doesn't have that many options because she may be floaty, but she uh, she's not able to. Uh, she doesn't have that kind of horizontal momentum, and her upbeat doesn't offer her. That many, uh, that many ways to get back. It's just a burst. It's just a burst of speed straight up. All right, it looks like Sketch might be changing stages of characters. I'm not really sure. Maybe he's really thinking that uh, that Joyce for Battlefields, which ended up uh, being a, a pretty big asset towards the end there. For Joe Pone. Granted, it was definitely over. The match was definitely over at the end there. Like, there's no way that uh, that sketch was going to make that back. Even if it was on another stage, it's just going to get spiked straight up. It ended up being a huge factor. And he's going Ridley. Okay. I'm very interested to see what he does with this. I'm going back to Battlefield, interestingly. Whether it's a uh, comfort pick or something else from, uh, from Sketch, I'm not really sure, but it is a very good Pikachu stage. 
Most people imagine that uh, the fact that Pikachu can, uh, can Thunder Jolt camp you means that you want to try to avoid going to flat stages, and that's not really the case. You can do that pretty much anywhere. Oh, very good spot dodge coming out from Joe Pwn. Uh It was uh, technically a 50-50. Sketch could either have grabbed or jabbed there. And a wonderful up smash at the ledge to catch uh, Ridley's recovery. It does have a little bit of a, a disjoint, but unfortunately Pikachu is more disjointed than that. And here we see uh, the main issue with the matchup with, uh, with the matchup on the stage is that Pikachu can just kind of sit on the other side of the stage above the platform and throw down Thunder Jolts. Is uh, that move it does allow for that to be an option? So it's kind of really risky to take Pikachu here because he's still allowed to camp just as effectively here as he is on any flat stage. Uh, Sketch losing his second stock already. I'm not exactly certain uh, what he can really do to make this up. Joe Pong's been playing this matchup very much by the books. Uh, Ridley is a very large character, but he is kind of on the light side for, uh, for heavy. So unless he gets like a really big play or just makes something happen immediately, he's going to have a really tough time making up his deficit. Really well placed thunder there from Joe Pong to finish off the stock. And he's moving on to Alright, so next up we're gonna have uh, Dark Bees versus Fang. In the meantime, though, while these guys get in and get ready to play, uh, if you guys have been enjoying uh, the stream so far, please make sure to like, favorite, subscribe on Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. In that order. Not in that order. But yeah, in that order. Or just whatever combination works best for you. Uh, we really appreciate you guys supporting us every single time. Uh, whatever little thing you do to help us out is always appreciated. And yeah, we're going to have uh, Fang.